Hi everyone, this is Dango from Rocky Valley Server. So I got a lot of requests about, uh, you know, reviewing the top five characters of all these top Chinese players. So let's just uh, uh, review them all at once. Um, yeah, I actually think uh, it shouldn't be that, uh, you know, different from Global Server. But let's see. So this is Ritual. Uh, this Ritual looks exactly the same uh, gear set compared to mine. Um, yeah. It's just a uh, uh, yeah, breeze ritual with a decent uh, intelligence, 14% plus 12. Um, no wonder this guy is uh, the biggest whale in uh, Chinese server. These enchants are pretty good. This is a uh, actually mediocre uh, enchant with 4% health, uh, defense seven, and another intelligence of seven. And then here is um, yeah, this this uh, ritual is a magic cannon build. Uh, lots of intelligence, um, lots of intelligence, and then only like 10% of kill point overall. So this is a magic cannon build of a uh, ritual. So here we have a uh, list tail. Uh, yeah, and this tail is a very typical build. Um, this is actually the exact same um, build with lots of us. Um, yeah, it's basically all the global top um, players are also using this kind of build for this tail. And uh, this list tail's enchant is kind of mediocre. There is a 10% intelligence here, which is not useful at all. Um, but they get secondary enchant, so their um, stats are boosted. Uh, and the, the maximum the maximum level for them is 66, so... Yeah, those are actually just a mediocre enchant. The reason again is because even this guy is a Chinese whale, they have limited access to the uh, basically the as uh, the enchant packs. They only sell enchant packs. Uh, like they started selling enchant packs like uh, not far away, and they only sell 10 enchant pack. Uh, basically, like 50 SSR enchant per week. Whereas global server, our whales like uh, like LeBron and you know. Uh, maybe lemons and X Lucky and Suwan, they can buy like 400 enchants per week, so that's a lot different. This is why if you check their enchant, it's actually kind of mediocre. Uh, this is Julia's enchant with only 13% of intelligence. That's actually considered low for whales, right? Global whales, they never have 13% something. Uh, and here is 5% intelligence and plus 10% health, so this is a pretty good. Enchant, and then here, and then um, this, this, is, this is the SR rune to immune fixed damage, uh, which can be very useful. And then here is the Burn Heart. Uh, again, this Burn Heart is using Rune Sword, very similar to the Chinese server. Just a mediocre enchant as well. This is a top enchant with 15% of health point. This is a pretty decent enchant with 10% defense and 4% attack. This is a um, okay enchant with 9% attack and 4% defense. Uh, here is a land font. Uh, I don't think this guy really used land font in Apex Arena, so we kind of skip that. Uh, I don't think he used any of the characters here. So yeah, that's basically um, Moon Knight. And then this guy who just lost today. Uh, but let's check his top 5 anyway. So this top 5 is Basil, uh, just a very 2 plus 2 enchant. Um, the top players in global, some of them use 2 plus 2, like Ku. Um, yeah, but some, some others use um, Clock still. Uh, but in season 2, um, 2 plus 2 is definitely more famous enchant. Those are pretty good enchants. Um, it's kind of mediocre if you compare it to global whales, but these are considered top in Chinese server. Uh, because they, just because they don't they can't spam enchant packs. And uh, this is Olivia, looks pretty strong, um, decent enchant. Not top top tier enchant, but okay enchant. This is 14% of attack, just 14% of um, attack. So this Olivia's enchant is okay. Uh, it's okay in Chinese server, it's kind of low um, overall. This is the new gear from Sakura War that reflects damage. This is the free version of that gear. Basically, this is the version that can drop from Dragon. And then, uh, yeah, this can apply a fixed damage before entering a uh, range battle. So, um, this is the Bracer. 
uh, this bracer the enchant is kind of mediocre. Uh, here is the uh, armor. This uh, headgear is actually extensively used in Chinese server. Uh, it's considered as trash in global server right now, but a lot of Chinese players are using that. Uh, it's because it increased the magic defense and defense by 15% at full has spent. Can still be situationally strong. And here is the landies. Very strong enchant. This land use enchant is top. Uh, Roy Lee has better enchant than that. Uh, I think Roy Lee has 15% of magic defense, 15% of defense, and 5% of attack. But this is already a top enchant. And we get another top enchant from here with 15% of heal point, 14% of defense. Yeah, this land use enchant is insane. Yeah, this is probably his best enchanted character. And here we have Angelina with uh, this Angelina. Um, Angelina is pretty strong in season two, but I don't think he's using Angelina. And this um, this uh, gear set is kind of ridiculous, so I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, Joshua here is the breeze Joshua. That he's not using Joshua. This uh, this gear set is kind of weird, especially the weapon is kind of weird. Uh, and then, uh, but Brit's enchant is very fo um, popular for Joshua. This Chloe here, uh, two plus two Chloe, which is okay. Yeah, but the gear sides are kind of similar to global version. Uh, Olivia with Breeze enchant, which is pretty decent. Yeah, we already revealed that. So this is this guy, and then this guy here. Uh, Basil with clock. Yeah, this is the Basil with clock. But the gears are kind of similar to the Chinese server. And then we get STL with clock. Um, yeah, these are some pretty high heal points. And then 11% attack. Yeah, they, they really don't have super, super good enchant. This juggler with 10% attack kind of wasted, 7% heal spawn and 3% magic defense. Then this last right has 15% defense. This is uh, this is 17% in total for defense and health point. Really mediocre enchant, I say. Uh, the global whales all have better enchants. So yeah, defense and this they really have a pretty decent enchant for land use though. Each of them have a decent enchant for land use. And then this is Yulia again using Ice Rune. So you can so if you have that rune, you should uh, save some. Because um, in S2, people are getting, uh, you know, more and more people are starting to bring this ring instead of the um, instead of the uh, SSR um, bracer. Because bracer does not provide the um, intelligence provided by this SR ring. So I don't think he used any of those units here. Yeah. And this is little fish here. So ritual here with uh, breeds, very typical builds again. This is the cooldown reduction gear uh, with decent enchant, which I think is pretty useful for ritual. Uh, I still like uh, um, <coughs> personally. I still like uh, this um, uh, this ring, holy ring. For ritual, and this is a uh, SR boost puzzle with clock enchant. So you can do either 2 plus 2 or clock steel in season 2, looks like. And this list tail is a um, more health point focused list tail, but still using last right uh, and with very decent enchant, I say 11% of defense and health point. And then this is a Shafonio, very strong Shafonio. And then this is the um, gear that attack that increase 15% of uh, intelligence at 80% um, stroke level, and this is a very high enchant for 15% of intelligence and 80 health point. And this is her special gear, which um, increase the range, scale range by one and uh, um, 
has 30% of increased uh, skill cast range and skill range by one. And then this is the gear uh, that can uh, remove one buff from enemy, 50 chance, which is a very typical choice for Shelfonio. And then she is using a full moon gear set. And here is Lana with um, breeze gear set, um, just a very typical Lana. Mm. And she is using Star Earring here. Star Earring can provide some extra health points. Yeah. Uh, he's not using any of those units. Yeah. So here, let's see. Yeah, Chinese players they they know uh, hiding their units well, right? This guy uh, is not hiding his list tail, but his list tail is in top five anyway, so he's not hiding. So yeah, some pretty. I mean, it's just a typical gear set for list tail. Typical gear set for Landius with um, with um, a throne enchant, and then um, breeds for ritual with typical gear set. Not crazy enchant, but decent enchant. Not crazy. So looks like I have some connection issue. Hopefully, I'm not kicked out. Okay. And this puzzle is again a uh, clock puzzle. So it looks like, at least for now, clock puzzle is still a little bit more popular among those top players. Yeah, sometimes I get this kind of connection issue in Chinese server, just because um, I'm in the States, so yeah, I'm very far away from their server. So here is a very interesting Renny with Breezy Enchant. And then here is a Buzzle with Clock again. Here is a Ritual with, um, with Breeze. Um, yeah, and uh, she's using that Silence uh, Hamlet. And then here is, um, here is a List Tail with um, 2 plus 2 Enchant. And then this List Tail yeah, is focused on defense and magic defense. 2 plus 2 enchant is also a choice, um, especially for free to play players, because then you can use this kind of two sides. Uh, nobody really use hard rock, nobody really use um, this um, freeze. So you can try to, you know, just spam this, like, nobody use the uh, enchants for this nail. So here is a, a breeze enchant for Sigma. This is a really top tier stigma with mediocre enchants. Uh, I say mediocre because if you check the enchants for global whales, they have much better enchants. Like you may think this 14% um, uh, of attack and 5% of health is pretty good, but if you check like Suwan's enchant for Uller's bow, that is not even close to Suwan's enchant. Okay. So here is the other guy. So basically, in Chinese server, the uh, gear selection is very similar to the gear selection of a uh, global server, but uh, their enchant is kind of actually lower. So it just means that when we get there, when we are like have level 66 pack, um, our characters, especially the characters from Wales, they will have much stronger um, power than other people. And this juggler is over 8000 um, combat power, very strong with uh, blood, uh, he's using a blood pact. This is kind of, oh this is a cavalry uh, juggler, so this is why he's using blood packs here, probably, because cavalry uh, juggler has more health points. This is stacked with tons of health points, really. And then here is the puzzle with cloud enchant. Uh, I think he already changed his gear. I don't think he will use this uh, Valley of Lights in PvP battle. And then this Boron, yeah. This guy, this guy basically changed all his gears after the battle to confuse others. Uh, do not trust uh, this gear, this build. This is just a ridiculous for Boron. Yeah, he's trying to confuse his enemy. So very smart guy, but not very um, useful for us to reveal see how far he will go. He is playing these small tricks here. And here this is the uh, 
villager. And there is the other villager. Okay. So with Basel, 2 plus 2 build, which is pretty common. Uh, clocks build for Rini. And then this Yulia is breeze, uh, with, um, this Yulia is not using that SRN, but this, um, uh, this SSR gear to reduce the cooldown of the scale. And then this least tail 2 plus 2 build, again, is a better option for free to play players. And then Richer is breeze build, and then there is the Elven here with full moon. Uh, I don't think he's using Elven for PvP. Um, yeah, this enchant looks mediocre. Yeah, this enchant looks very mediocre. Maybe he is using Elven for PvP, we will see. Uh, and this is the wind, uh, Cloud Wind Dust, which has pretty decent um, units. Land use, uh, Full Moon for land use, and uh, Clock for um, battle. And then uh, Tree of Life for Jadular, this is very similar to Axaki. Axaki is using Tree of Life for Jadular as well. It's a kind of smart because it can, you know, not only buff himself but also buff the team. And then here's Lading. He's oh, he sometimes uses Lading actually. But this Lading is hard rock build with a uh, gift of internal life. Mm, interesting. Maybe this is how you should build your Lading if you are going for a aggressive Lading because then when you like actively attacking, you will have. Um, all these stats increased by 15%. Although, yeah, because yeah, because this increase your defense and magic defense by 15%, you will have a crazy attack stat with with that increase. Yeah, that's a very interesting build for lading. So if you are using lading in PvP battle, this is potentially the build that you should go for. So here is the. Here is this guy, Sunflower, um, Battle with Cloud, uh, Rini with this gear. Um, I don't really think you should use that. Um, and then Land use with Steel, and then, yeah, just some typical gears. And then this tail with, um, with uh, this throne. Looks mediocre in chance to me. This one is pretty good. With yeah, with 15% of defense and 9% of health point. You can see lots of Chinese players really values the defense a lot. Here you have Claret, which is actually a um, rough sea Claret. This is how you can kill tanks in season two. Rich Claret cannot kill tanks anymore. If you want to kill tanks with Claret, you have to use a rough sea Claret. And this guy is actually pretty generous, he's showing us all these PvP units. Uh, again, for Season 2, Draft C is the solution for Zerida to kill enemy. With Zerida find hard to kill a lot of units. This is why uh, all people are changing this Breeze gear to um, Draft C. In Season 2 though, in Season 1 you should still use Breeze. So Hele is still using Breeze. And then uh, this this Hedy, yeah, this Hedy is a very typical Hedy site, very similar to Zoraida. Uh, this is the one that from Sakura War. So actually, lots of players are using that now uh, because this gear set uh, will provide you some healing ability um, when, like, after you take action, if you have health points below 50%, then it will heal up 20%. So it provides some sustainability for, for the characters after they attack. Mm, I still think uh, um, I still think King's Crown is better though. So here is Basel with 2 plus 2 build. Um, this tail with Throne. Lana with Breeze. Um, the land use with Throne. Yeah, very typical land use. And then Olivia with Breeze. You can see they, the, most of the Olivia is actually using that uh, um, that um, gear that can 50% chance of you know reducing the damage dealt by enemy of 20%. So maybe their Olivia is mostly for 
um, like trying to support the team instead of just a pure DPS. So here is uh, my favorite player, Willen, and he has Bozo 2 plus 2, he has uh, Liz Tail with um, this um, enchant, and this is just a mediocre enchant to be honest. This is a good enchant, whoa this is a perfect enchant. This is what, 31% um, in total for this tail, but this is very mediocre. And then here is a decent enchant for um, the Oath of Justice. And then Shoujo Jessica with Breeds, and she's using that here. And uh, this tennis headgear and Red Moon, this is a very good red, man, uh, red Moon enchant, not top tier but very good. This is richer. it looks like he values a lot um, this uh, gear that increases uh, defense and magic defense by 15% under range attack. Um, maybe this can allow him to survive from assassins? I'm not so sure, yeah I have to check with my friend. Uh, because I think my friend is a friend of Villain, so yeah, I have to check why uh, they value this gear that much. I don't, I don't know the reason myself. And this is Lana. He's not using Lana, so it's mainly for his PVE. So Ritual here, we have already seen that. Uh, Shofonio here is a um, magic enchant for PVE pros. So I have loved, uh, liked again, that's okay. So here is this Joshua with um, this blazing sun, uh, blazing sun enchant. Well, I think this is a PVE Joshua. So this uh, Liana here using Teddy Bear, so that Ghost Pale last one more turn, so that's a decent choice for Liana. And then, yeah, it's just a crystal uh, with mediocre enchant. Yeah, this is really, really mediocre. Yeah, those are all mediocre enchants for Liana. And then here is the villager number two, the head of the villager, though. So he has Basil with club, and Yulia with um, with uh, this breeze. Yeah, his power is pretty high, though. I really see this high power Yulia. Oh, this is because this is a sword Yulia. And then this Lana, he, he don't use Lana in PvP. This list tail is a um, thrown list tail. Ritual is this breeze ritual. So let's see this Cartman. Cartman has Basil with highest power, Clock Enchant. Uh, Lana with Clock Enchant. Uh, Ritual with typical breeze build. Yulia with typical breeze build. Land use with typical throne build. Yeah. So here we have this. Uh, they have uh, Shili Shoujo. So this Shili Shoujo is using um, this uh, clock. Yeah, clock set for Basil. And uh, this tail with typical throne build. Uh, Juggler with typical throne build. This is the gear you can get from Sakura War, which deals fixed damage uh, for range, like when being attacked with range attack. And then this is Yulia's um, with typical breath build. She's using that um, gear to increase some defense. And then, so this is a typical. Uh, land use with full moon build. This is the gear that you can get from the new gear summon. I have already made a review on this uh, equipment summon, and you know, I have like made my suggestions on what to get. So if if you are interested, you can check out my channel. Uh, I made a video together with the in, with the gear summon from the UU club, uh, and also no not UU club but the Sakura War, yeah. So this is Luna with um, 2 plus 2 and uh, Crystal Lance. Here is the Cherry with 
Yeah, this Luna is using an interesting SR gear as well. Yeah. When health is 80% uh, above, uh, magic defense increased by 15%. This is kind of a common choice for um, in Chinese server. And also this Zoreda is using a uh, yeah is using a uh, um, Meteor Zoreda. Yeah, so less people are using Breeze now just because Breeze cannot kill. So this is Lana, this is Sakura with a uh, Clock Sight with decent enchant. Clock Sakura with uh, uh, with the uh, with the balanced blade, which is kind of the range sword, and then this is the uh, this is our apex bolts, right? The uh, mobility plus one and attack increase by five percent. So this is a well built uh, Sakura, very interesting, with carbon fiber um, headgear. Yeah, so that's all about the uh, build for the top 16 players in Chinese server. Uh, so hope you find that useful and uh, with that, uh, I will see you in the next video about reviewing these battles. So peace.